You probably noticed that most videos on hair loss all talk about medications. You know, finasteride, ru 5841 KX826, and so on. And while those can work, they also do come at risk. So today, I want to do something a little bit different. I'm going to count down the top five natural science-backed methods to regrow and thicken hair without relying on harsh chemicals. We'll go from number five all the way down to number one, which is my personal favorite and the one I use for myself every single day. And honestly, it's one of the best things I ever did to go from this to how I look today. So stick around until the end because the last method is an absolute killer. Let's get started. At number five, we got low level laser therapy or LLLLLT. This is definitely a high tech option. Red or near infrared light that stimulates the mitochondria inside your follicle, basically giving them more energy to grow. And there is solid evidence here. In 2014, a randomized controlled trial by Lancer Fame and colleagues showed that men and women who used a laser helmet had significant increase in hair density compared to the placebo group. And just a few years later, in 2017, a meta-analysis pooling results from multiple trials confirmed the same thing. Low-level laser therapy consistently improves both hair counts and hair thickness. You've probably also seen the guy Brian Johnson. He swears by the LLLT devices. And I think there's a good reason behind that because they do actually work. So how can you do this for yourself? You can buy an FDA cleared laser cap or comb, and I will stress it has to be FDA approved, and use it for 15 to 30 minutes, about three times per week. You don't really feel anything, but over the next few months, it is going to show results. Just be patient and give it at least three to six months before deciding if you think it works for you. At number four, we got something most of us use already every morning, which is caffeine. Back in 2017, Fisher tested caffeine directly on human hair follicles in the lab. And what they found was fascinating because caffeine actually stimulated follicle growth and even blocked testosterone's negative effects on those follicles. Same thing goes for DHC, by the way. And since then, follow-up trials and reviews have confirmed this in people. Caffeine shampoos and tonics can reduce shedding and promote thicker hair shaft. It is not as strong as the prescription drugs, but it is a super low-risk way for you to boost your routine. How to do it yourself? Look for caffeine shampoo or tonic, usually around 1%. Massage it into your scalp, leave it for about 2-5 to five minutes, then rinse, just usually as you would do in the shower and also with the Keech Condensol. Do it daily or every time you wash your hair. By the way, Intelligent, the company created by Derek for More Plates, More Date, has a great shampoo with caffeine. And there is a link in the description for you and 10% off if you follow the link if you buy it from Intelligent. But just to be clear, any kind of caffeine works. This is not super rocket science. Number three is rosemary oil. And this one has become really popular for good reason. In 2015, Panahi and colleagues ran a randomized clinical trial comparing rosemary oil to 2% minoxidil. After six months, both groups had significant hair growth. But here's the kicker. The rosemary oil group reported fewer side effects, especially less scalp itching and irritation. So this one isn't actually just some stupid TikTok trend that's going on. It actually performs on par with standard medication in a clinical setting. How do you do it for yourself? Well, it's fairly easy. Mix a few drops of pure rosemary essential oil into carrier oil like jojoba or coconut oil. Massage it into your scalp two to three times weekly. Leave it for 30 minutes and then wash it out. You can even try and leave it in the whole night. I would prefer not to do that because it just messes up the sheets. At number two, we got the most powerful natural method, microneedling. This works by creating tiny controlled injuries in the scalp with fine needles. And here is why it helps. Injury triggers healing. Healing brings in growth factors and improves blood flow and even activate follicle stem cells. We have strong research here too. A 2022 systematic review by Gupta and his colleagues looked at multiple studies and found that microneedling 
even on its own, significantly increased hair count in people with androgenic alopecia, aka male pattern baldness. And even animal studies back this up, showing that microneedling activates the key growth pathways like the WNT beta cancinine and VEGF, which both are critical for follicle regeneration. How to do it yourself? At home, start small. Use a derma roller or a derma pen at 0.3 to 0.5 mm depth once every one week or every two weeks. That is enough to trigger growth without causing damage. In clinics, professionals often use 1 to 1.5 mm for deeper penetration, but only do this if you have a quality derma pen. Intelligent also has a great derma pen that you can pick up with the code Philippe at checkout or by using the link in the description, 10% off as before. And always disinfect your device with 70% alcohol before and after. You can expect a little redness, maybe even some shedding in the start, that's completely normal. And this brings us to number one, my personal favorite. And number one is also the simplest, but one of the most powerful things you can do, which is scalp massages. In 2016, a Japanese study led by Beppu showed that four minutes of scalp massages a day over 24 weeks actually increased scalp thickness and improved hair count. If you've seen some of my other videos, you also know that the scalp would actually shrink and get thinner over years, and especially when you're suffering from hair loss. So scalp thickness plays a crucial role in your hair loss. The reason why it works is simple. Massages reduces scalp tension, boost blood circulation, and mechanically stimulates the follicles. How to do it yourself? Use your fingers or a scalp massage device, spend five to 10 minutes once a day, pressing and moving the scalp in circular motions. Focus on thinning areas, but cover the whole scalp while you're doing it. And by now, I know probably some of you are already rolling your eyes at me because I have not been completely honest. I do not do the scalp massages, even though they work. I use this, the Growband 2.0 from Hairguard. While you can do the scalp massages yourself with the exact same result, I just find it easier and better to use this device for 10 minutes a day. If you want to check out this device yourself, I did not only get you 10% discount on it, I also got you a $100 extra off and you get a free 30 day money back guarantee from HairGuard if you use the code blueprint at checkout. I know at the moment there is a waiting line because the product has been sold out, but they promised me that anyone who signs up from my link will get access to the product within one week. And that is my absolute favorite since scalp massages are 100% safe, does not mess with your hormones, it's not something that you have to pay for every month or anything else, and honestly it feels kind of nice to do that. So let's quickly recap our top 5 natural methods for hair growth. Number 5, low level laser therapy. Number 4, topical caffeine. Number three, rosemary oil. Number two, microneedling and scalp massage, my personal favorite. And remember the most important thing, the earlier you start, the better results you get. Stay consistent, stay patient and take care of your hair. I'll see you in the next one.